Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and we are going to do um, a little video. Um, several of you said you would like to see, excuse me, I got the hiccups, um, the um, collage sort of master board that I showed that I had done a while ago, um, many, probably quite a few years ago now. Um, in the random video that I did the other day. I can't get my words out. So I've got a piece of scissors. So we'll use this. We'll use two pieces of this. And then I had another thought. Because you don't have to use a book page. Do I want to use this book page? Or would I like to use a nicer book page? I might use a nicer book page. Just a minute. I need to be mindful of the size that I might like to cut it down into three tags. So this size will be better. Four tags this one could become. So we'll do this and do this. Okay. So my first thing I think, oh, first I'm going to go tell you what you need to do to prepare yourself for it. You need to um, get your fussy cutting done. I may not have done all my fussy cutting, but you need to um, have lots of flowers ready to go and birds and butterflies and mushrooms. So um, these are good books. This book, um, not all the pages lend themselves to fussy cutting. So you sort of have to go through and see sort of here. You can see define the shapes of these flowers more singularly. That's a good fussy cutting page in my opinion. Whereas something like that, or maybe a little bit, but that's something I would find that harder. That one's okay. Um, so sometimes some of these pages I would use more for their all over pattern um, rather than fussy cutting. Like I'm not going to go and fussy cut those sorts of things out. Um, so yeah, so th that's one book. Um, and then this book is okay. I don't love all the flowers. Like I wouldn't, I mean, you can cut these out, but they. I don't like the spindly flowers. I like more sort of, I mean, that one's all right. Um, but there are, look, those are good. That's good. That's okay. Um, that's wonderful. So yeah, there are some flowers in this book. Not as many as I thought, but there are some in that book as well. And then of course I've got my um, fussy cutting um flower kits and you could have a bird book butterfly book that sort of thing i've also got from my woodlands kit uh, see i didn't cut that out but i'll put that aside um, i've got these mushrooms here so they can be i haven't cut those out because i just decide at the time now i'm going to use these pages as are but i will back them with a plain paper so i think i put my plain papers in here i've got them all organized like this hopefully. Now that's collage. Backgrounds. Is it in that one? Let's see. That's not really a background, but yes, they are in here. Right. I mean, you can do your garden collage on anything, of course. Um, but... Let me see. Yeah, I just want to choose. Oh, let's have this on our background. Okay. Put that down there. I don't want to put it in front of my drawers. I might need to open them. So how is everyone? Oh, I might, I'm going to need another piece. It's not going to be big enough. So I'm going to put my backing paper on first. You could do a, like a collage if you've got lots of scraps. Do a collage on your background. Um and then have the surprise of what it's going to look like that's an option or otherwise a single sheet you could put tea dyed paper you could put old book page you know like end papers i'm just going to go i'm um, the only reason why i'm switching out for the glues is just so i don't go all over the piece of paper because i'm not going to use it all on this one so i just like to go around my, i can control it better in theory because that's a theory um if i use the wet glue because it's got a small little nozzle and I'm going to put this here. I'm not even sure what's on the other side, what bit I've got of it. Glue that down. And I'll probably end up trimming that bit off because the white will be coming through. Unless I were to make that the bottom. So I'll just trim this off. 
I'm going to just trim that. And it'll be crooked, so I'll just straighten it afterwards and take that off there. Okay. Put those strips over there and... Oh, I left or I missed all those pink bits. Oh, well. So that's that one. That's the reverse side for writing. And we go and need to pick it up again and get another one. Now, I've got a tea here, a herbal tea. I hope I don't knock it over because it's here on my work mat. And I'm going to put this one, I think. I love having these papers ready to go. Like, I was just printing them not you know all fixed up and um and then steph fixed them all up for me and put the kits together so that's much easier for me as well to print these out but i do like them for backing and i like them for the reverse side of digital pages or the reverse side when you know print out a letter an old letter um put one of these on the reverse side so it kind of looks old now, this is not very good glue in here. I need to line it up with the edge. Otherwise, I've got too many edge. Oh my goodness, I can't do it. You'd think I'd be an expert by now. I seem to get worse. Okay, that's very bad gluing. Not the best gluing, but anyway, it is what it is. We will manage. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I didn't go around my edges, so they're all going to be sticking up. I'll have to go around them. It's going to be a little bit bothersome. Stick that down. See, it's all peeling up because I didn't put glue under there. Okay. that curling up edge. Could just trim that off with my cutter. I don't know why I'm messing about with it now. Okay, so I've got our two pieces. So then what we need to do is start layering up our flowers. Now we have flowers that of all different heights so maybe organize your flowers some of these are from books and some are from some are from um, digitals so I'm going to organize them in heights because I'm going to put the tallest at the back and the shortest at the front well that's the theory this is sort of intermediate. And you can see they're of all different types. Little ones. And here's some from that book I showed you before. In all different heights. I didn't get a large variety of colours, which is why I also need the digitals. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna glue anything. I'm just gonna start putting them down. I can't even remember what I did the last time. 
put you can even put them up a bit let's see put that one there see but you need a lot I didn't I didn't sort of I probably don't have enough here put that one there So I think I totally, I can't even remember how I did it, but I think I, I totally um, covered. That's enough of those. And then we can have some, some more. I think I like that one. No, not that one. This one here I like. So sort of just play around with them a bit like that okay so I'm going to glue down I'm just going to take those off I'm going to glue down the back ones and then I'm going to do the back of the other one as well so I need my glue book for this okay, I could no I'll just glue stick so make sure you get enough glue to still stick all your bits down this glue because inevitably with the glue stick I've always got bits popping up because I didn't I probably should have stuck my one in the middle down first and let's grab this And you can have them overlapping a little bit. Glue. I might use this. It's got a lot larger surface for gluing, that's why I'm using that. Okay, we'll do that, put that one aside and these were the flowers I thought would go with that one. And then we've got this one here. So we want to start off with, I might not even have enough, but we'll see. Might be able to get through it. Put that one there. Some thinner sort of flowers here. Okay, well that's looking all right. I can maybe wing it there with something bigger so you can see you need large quantity so if you want to um, see the books just pause the video I'm not going to write them in the description box I never remember um, you can just pause the beginning of the video and write down the name of the books. But a lot of you I know have those books. They're very popular for making things with. And 
I am switching out my glues. This one's, you know, wider. It's got a larger superficial, superficial. I was about to speak Italian to you. Um, so that's why I just switched out my glue because I could cover it faster. It's not, it got nothing to do with the stickiness of the glue. This one's more spindly and I tend to rip them. So I'll just use this glue stick. Not glue stick, liquid glue. Just because I'm not pulling and tugging at it, I'm ripping it. So you're building up your layers. Okay. So let's see. I do sort of lay them out a little bit. So here I've got this space here, so I was thinking that one could be good there. I do sort of lay them out a little bit um, just to decide where to put them. And these are filling in gaps nicely, these ones. I could put that one maybe there, and maybe we'll put this one here. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, I did have another alternative, but I don't think I have enough flowers cut out. I might have to cut some more out to do that one. If you weren't like another, maybe like I was thinking it might be an easier way to do it. Well, another way to do it really. I think we'll put that one at the back. So what's at the back gets glued down first. I'll use this, otherwise I'll be ripping those little leaves off and fill in that gap up there like that there and I might put a mushroom there because we can pretend like it's been raining and mushrooms grew up in the garden I'm putting that there no I was going to put it here yeah it's starting to take shape so we don't need one what else is this? No, we'll keep those aside. I don't think I want that one. See, some of those could have looked good in the background there, but I didn't put them on, so won't worry. I am going to put mushroom over there, so we'll leave that. And let's look at this one. Let's just see here. Oh, 
I quite like that. I'm going to put that there. So it's about building up layers. It's very important to think in layers, but what's behind, middle ground and foreground. And there could be a middle middle ground, like there's not just three, there could be multiple layers. Before I glue that down, I think I like it more over there. I'm going to see with these other ones. Put that one there. I don't think I want all of these now that they're glued down. I think I'll put that there because that's another layer. Don't want anything else behind there. Oh. I like that okay so before you lock it in just play around with all your different options see what a disaster I am look at all the glue all over that have a sip of tea. Mm, I think I might put it up a bit higher. Okay, this one's going over there and that's a definite. So if you were to lay out your um, background, like all the layers and know what you liked, then um, you can photograph it and then you can take them all off and put them back down. I just want to give my, get a wet one because my hands are all sticky. I'm going to have a sip of tea. It's a Twinings. It's called... Um, If there's, I don't know what's in there. There's ginger and stuff. Okay, let me just see on this one. Do I want any? I do quite like that. But I wanted to put a mushroom. Let's leave that there as an option. So let's go to the mushrooms and see if there's anything. For example, I like this orange one. Oh, I like them all, but I like particularly like this one. I love that big red one. But that would have, that should have gone this. You could do one layering all your mushrooms, you know, and put owls. How cute would that owls and, and you could have like a squirrel in it. That would be really cute. That could be really, that's an idea, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm going to put that one aside for that idea. I didn't cut pre-cut the mushrooms out because I didn't know which ones. I don't actually have a mushroom box. Although I've got a few spare ones flying around. I probably could have a mushroom box. See, that's a good one with the garden attached to it. I might have to do another one. That one. And I like this one that's coming off the page. Those aside, the tall ones. Let's see over here. Do I have 
any more mushrooms. I do. Oh, that little purple one down there is so cute. Okay, let's just see how we go with these. Whoops, I'm not doing very good cutting here. Sorry, I've just gone quiet while I fussy cut mushrooms. So I didn't prepare everything. And you could have little labels, like little Tracy labels or plain labels, um, you know, here and there in your collage page. You could do these pages and hinge them into a journal as a full page if you wanted to. You don't have to be cut up if you really liked it, if it was like a botanical one. I think I've, that'll do. So you can have little, little oh, I love that little grouping of, of mushrooms. I put those there, I do like that. Do I, I did like the flower, but I think I'll, I'll put this, these little, these little ones here, I think. I've only got two. Maybe I should. Maybe just one. And a little one. Put that one over there. But I was going to put birds as well. So we'll put those aside. Those one day will do a mushroom one. So I love this grouping of mushrooms. So we're going to go ahead with that one. I particularly like the grouping of mushrooms. It's a very important garden. It's got everything going on. Probably wouldn't happen in reality. I don't know. I'm not a gardener. They're not the fastest collages you could do because you've got to think about it a little bit. Now here I am fussing about the mushroom grouping, but I and then I've just had a flash. I'm going to be cutting it all up, aren't I? Look at, the, look at that. That's what happens. Chunks of glue everywhere. Okay, so there I kind of need it like, or I could have a grouping. Let's try this grouping. Just one grouping, maybe. grouping like that is better or we could have a little grouping with that one oh don't mind that do I want to put it over there I like it over there okay that's it got it that's what I like so you can have it all happening on one collage page it's all going on Fortunately for us, I have a lot of fussy cut birds. Okay, that's that one. Yeah, I think working on two at a time is fun.
Okay, here's some birds. I already pulled them out. I had already cut these out. I kind of, do I want birds standing on sticks? On branches, they're not sticks. See, that bird is quite cute there. I'd have that bird over there. Just sort of play around with them. That one looks like it could stand. See, that's one that could be standing on top of something. We have one on, with some grass. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's the same as the other one, but a bigger version. We have this big bird. It's sort of, it is wonderful there, but it is covering it all up. I have a beautiful blue bird. So you can have them in different spots. You don't have to have them on the ground. That's the same bird as before. There's an owl that would go with the mushroom one. That one is, I love that bird. See, that bird could be there. They're all facing the same way, aren't they? Then if you've got all the birds there, you've got to be careful when you're cutting it out that you're not you know, you don't want to chop their heads off. It's probably not the best move. Um, I don't want to cover all my mushrooms up or anything like that. So that's why I'm being a bit of a fuss. There's a little bird. It could be standing on a branch. Well, that's a possibility. This one's got a branch. Don't mind that bird. Ooh. Let's see. It's like the branch is tucking in behind the mushroom there, in my imagination. Quite like that bird. Oh, I love this. It's so much fun. Now I need a bird up in the air on the other one. Maybe I prefer the... Yes, I prefer the colourful bird. Colourful. Well, that's a stretch of the imagination, isn't it? Um, or I could have this one. Oh, I like that more. I think it's the intensity of the colours. And do we want one sort of up here? Not that one. Not that one. The owl is cute. Too big. Too big. Here's this bird reappearing again. I don't want to cover all those flowers up though. It's covering up the mushroom. So no, we're just going to have two birds. I don't know if I want that bird. Just two birds on that one. Let me just see over here. I did reject many birds. One. I love this bird. Oh, that bird could go there like that. Okay, but the other book that I pulled out, so that's a possibility. The other book that I pulled out that has interesting things is this book, A Court Country Woman's Journal. Um, and it has little bugs and things that you can cut out, butterflies. Um, I think there might even be little critters here and there. Oh yeah, there's a fox. That's a really cute book. Not so many critters, more birds. And, you know, um, all kinds of things in there that you could use for this sort of thing. I'm going to glue down my birds. And then I'm going to see if I want to add any butterflies. And I don't know if I'll add any critters. So this one was kind of kind of had its branch there like it's coming out from behind the mushroom and that's going to stick up there and then this one be careful not to rip its little legs with my vigorous gluing a 
and that one was just touching those mushrooms. Cute. Creating a collage garden. And even these birds with bases are good because then they um, fill in the, the gaps. So that's that one. Got two birds to put on this one. Love the colours. I mean, you can really go to town on these. You can really add so many things. Now this one is going to be interesting because I've got my bird in such a position it's going to have to be a very big journal card. If I decided to make a journal card. So I will come back another day. I have another idea for a variation of this. And we'll do the mushroom one, but I won't do it today because you can see it takes a long time. And I think just two is enough. And I just wanted to, I did want to go into the critter book. I call it the critter book. Um, and see if there's not something cute. I don't mind that blue thing. I'll put that somewhere. See what takes my look at those see lots of things to cut out in this book i haven't used it that much oh look there's some bunnies you see little children's books you can get cute bunnies and stuff if you want to put bunnies in there's a ladybug squirrel it's a bit small just want to see if there was maybe another bee or something i don't want any scary bugs I saw a lady beetle before when I was flicking through, but I don't know where it is now. Oh. So anywhere to be seen. I don't know where the lady beetle is, so we won't worry about it. I'll just see if we could slip this little fellow in. It's quite thick paper. It's a very thick cardstock. I won't worry about those. Quite like that up there or or I like it over there okay I'm going to fill up that it's just really a, a space filler in it that's what we need is a space filler in it okay that's going to go there and then let's go to the butterfly land I don't need huge butterflies Select a few of the smaller ones. You know, if you had a lot of, um, also, um, I might have mentioned this before, but if you have a lot of um, sort of of these books, you know, I don't use the books as much. I seem to like the vibrancy of the and the mat of the paper of the digitals when I'm using, you know, um, fussy cut things. I sort of, I do tend towards those. Um, it's nice up there. 
and but I did in the beginning. It's like it's like thinking you have to have cardstock when you don't really need to have cardstock, um, and thinking you have to have scrapbooking paper, and that I had to do signature anchors. And I've I've now sort of found my own way and and don't do all of that stuff anymore. Um, with the cardstock, I have all this cardstock. I do need to use it because I don't use it that much. Um, you don't also don't, and I kept thinking I had to have lots of books. Um, and so I do have quite a few botanical books and they are fun. They, they, it's nice to have them for some projects, but they're not um, obligatory. And you know, sometimes you can't find them that it's actually what probably works out cheaper to reprint. And sometimes they're a little bit hoardy. Um, there are some books that I absolutely love. Um, but, you know, I don't use them as much as I probably should. Because you've got to pull them out, put them away, that sort of thing. Um, but you might have, a, you know, you might have bought books. I've bought some books that are like kind of disappointing. So um, I'm wondering if I would like... I have another few bits of butterflies. Just a sec. Here we go. Oh, it's the same one. Is it the same one? Use the same one. Um, I might just cut this one as well, just because I might need a different cut. Oh, I chopped a bit of its wing off, silly goose. Um, yeah, you don't like if you bought books that you weren't. Um, they there are bits and pieces that you like. Well, maybe this is a good way to use up even some of the less exciting pieces because they're going in the background. I have been hanging about chatting quite a lot, lot lately, haven't I? Okay, so let's, I think I'm gonna look at one at a time. I am gonna put that butterfly up there. Cause I do want, then when they're chopped up, then they just need a topper and they're done. So that's gotta be there. We could have a little, oh, I like, see, I knew I needed a different color butterfly. I'm gonna put it that way. I bring it down a bit. Cause then if I can have the choice of putting something at the top or do I want to put it in oh I like it there well that's all right I'll put it there and I might need I put a tag topper up there if you leave a space at the top you can put a tag topper because some of them I couldn't so I actually like it there like it's really in the garden okay I thought I cut out more butterflies anyway there's that one do I need any more oh they do look nice don't they Oh, I think I like the blue one. I'm going to do that, put that one there. I might have to cut out another one. Like, I think you can spend a lot of money buying books, thinking you've got to have all these books, these vintage books. Really, you can spend a bit less. And see how you go okay that one's going up there I did like that and this one can go I'd love a bee there but I don't have one I think I'll put that up there yes down a bit okay we'll put that one on we won't cut out anymore now we're going to just chop them up and see what happens and then, of course, if you were to find once you chopped it up, I don't know why I'm worrying about its direction when it's going to be separated from that one. Um, so if you found that you had like really um, large expanses of empty space when you cut it up, then you would just collage something else. So I'm going to cut here. So they ask, look at that. Love that. It's got room for a Tracy label. Oh, that's, I mean, there we go. That's it. And then, I, you know, I do my snipping. So these can be big journal cards, these ones. And look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, they're so much fun. I didn't stick that down properly. Got to make sure you stick all your bits down. And then, you know, there's this space up here. But I'm going to put a topper up there. I do need to trim them down a bit better because I didn't I didn't cut them well the first time around. So let's just give them a little bit of a trim. 
get all the budgy bits up. Cool. And that's the reverse side is already done. And let's cut this. Oh, I love them. I like these more than the other ones. A little bit of the butterfly is going to be chopped. Just a little bit. Oh, cute. Let's just do this. Make sure it's all good. Put that one over there. And now I'm going to chop a little bit of his tail off and make this a two, two journal cards. So there's a bit of tail there. But I love the look of that. And let's just trim them down a little bit. And I'm going to trim this one down just a little bit more just because it's super big. And how much fun was that? I had so much fun. As I always tell you, it's all about the fun. If you're not having fun, don't do it. I needed that today. It was a bit of an iffy day. It just started off a bit iffy. Okay. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could add, you know, something like that. Or a bird or something. A little bird. Oh, that's a big bird. It's got leaves attached to it. You know, you can add something else if you want to, but you don't have to. You could add a little label. Let's see what we've still got here in the dishes. Could even have a label sort of coming off. I like it down there. See, that would cover up. Maybe a different one. Would cover up the little chopped off tail there. Put it down there. And put a topper at the top. Topper at the top. So I won't finish them all off because you guys, have, I think I've kept you here for a really long time. But then we will do the little snippies. And I've got room at the top for a topper. So I won't, haven't decided what that will be, but it will be, I'll have something folded over and then punch a hole. Or I could put something, you know, bunched up. And something bunched up and staple it at the top. So where's that other one that I knew I liked? This one. Let's do this one. The other ones I'll all leave. I'll finish all of those another day. I'm just going to add this one here because I was definitely sure about that. And I'll snip my little corners. And again, this one can have, it has room for a little topper there. That, so you get the idea, but aren't they fun? So I hope you enjoyed that video that was useful and, um, and you're going to make some. And so they are my botanical, let's call them botanical garden collages. So I'll photograph them kind of next to each other. Um, so you could even stick your labels on here and there. And then when it cuts out, you've got a bit of label here and a bit of label over there as well. That's another option. So there's plenty of fun things that you can do. See, I like that. That's going there. So I just made another decision. I just thought, oh, I'll just try that there while I was chatting to you. And it just happened and I really like it. There we go. And then something else will happen on that one, but I don't know what. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and you give it a go and let me know how you go with it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. And we will be back with more of this collaging fun. Bye.